Hello everyone, and finally this video is here. I started working on this project a long time ago, and then went off of it when I sort of started up more of this YouTube channel and Let's Play and sort of stuff, but uh, finally we are here with the new, well not, not new, the improved Tango Tech item sorter storage. Couple key features here is as you can see these modules they're the exact same so exact same footprint with a little bit of quotation marks. My, uh, my footprint doesn't include this chest here but uh, all the redstone and the first set of chests all fits within the same footprint. Uh, same height and everything uh they but yeah they can be right beside each other so there's no need for the column of furnaces or whatever you put between your modules of course you can separate them by as many blocks as you want and these this will still work wonderfully in fact it would probably be a little better um, but the other key feature is an improved item elevator. So with this item elevator, no items will ever get stuck inside the droppers here. And that's, as you can imagine, super useful when it, uh, when it comes to preventing this thing from backing up and making sure that this does its job. Um, yeah, so... I guess let's build so I'm actually gonna come let's see let's try to do this one away from it just so you guys can see well let's come over here all right so here like I said this is uh, this is the same footprint so you can build your four by nine platform eight nine platform if you want um but i mean it's not not super necessary but here let's see those guys there so redstone dust we'll start at the bottom and uh work our way up to the top this is the redstone clock that redstone clock that adds or redstone delay that activates this clock here. So just one tick on this repeater, but this one facing into that block, we're gonna have four ticks on it, and then just some redstone here. So when this delay is on, just like with the original, it activates this cycle, which will toggle all of those repeaters and torches in the tower there. So here, this one, it took me a little while to figure out, that repeater pointing to the side there is actually pretty important because without it, the delay from this dropper tower which we're sort of starting to build here is just a little bit shorter because here we lose down a redstone so there's three redstone between here here there's only one redstone before the clock so uh, we need this repeater in order to get the redstone timings the same and that is something that like I said took me a while to figure out so redstone dust on top of all of these. Here, we're gonna need a block. I mean, we're gonna have a block there anyways, but uh, block there to stop the connection between there. This, and this is where our comparators are, either half slabs or full blocks, doesn't matter. Um, trying to see, yeah, there you can see, I used, I used both. Um, but yeah, comparators into these blocks with redstone. So comparators will activate both of these redstone. We'll send this here. We have our start of our dropper tower here. So this 
repeater here, which we need on three ticks. So these guys, both on three ticks, will prevent items from coming in when there is an item in there. If that makes sense. And that's what stops the droppers from backing up. So we're going to get some full blocks here. Torches. This is the... So this is the dropper portion of it. Let's see, it's nine, it's a dropper vader and nine droppers again. And I mean, this is a dropper vader that you can, or an item elevator that you can take and use anywhere in any of your builds. And it should work great, or it will work great, but yeah. It's the torch tower uh, up here. And last one, like so. So, there. It's a one wide, tileable, almost tileable. I don't think it's tileable because of this redstone dust right here. But one wide item elevator. Um, yeah, pretty handy. Pretty sure it's a nil mango design. But gonna come back out four here four hoppers so this design does use a little bit more iron than the original one just some more hoppers but uh, I think it's worth it so this here into this torch this is the start of the item clock here you can see we go up into a block here and this will activate the item clock. This one needs to be a redstone block, or a solid block, full block, so that the redstone dust can come from here down. So the redstone dust can come from here down and then up into our uh, tower of redstone to connect up all the, all the places, all the levels. So we're just going to bring this one up and this one, instead of pointing forward, he's going to point to the side and that's what gets us this nice sort of stagger of redstone torch towers. So again here with the redstone torch tower, uh, let's just do it like this, a little easier. And a couple guys in there. Like so. So, two elevators, item elevators, there. We're going to come here. Add in our connecting circuit. So this will, like I said, link up all of the layers. And I believe, yeah, that's the last one. So these all just get redstone dust on top of them. And there, redstone dust, that's what transfers this signal here, which we're going to put a couple pieces of redstone repeater into a full block, and a slab there could probably be a full block as well. Um, I just like using slabs, so repeater. Yeah. Now, let's do this before we get too far into it. Also, we're going to come here, just run a couple hoppers like so, straight out. This will be what connects into this hopper here and uh, connects up the two layers, I guess. So... Here we're going to point this hopper straight back, that's just temporary block, straight back to match up with that one. Now we're going to come one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven up. That is for the six rows of chests and then one extra at the top because the top one never gets items. So we can remove those, replace those with chests when, uh, whenever you want. 
So here, again, staggers with the full blocks, like so. And we'll come here, torch, redstone dust on top of there. Here though, we're gonna change it up and we're gonna put a full block there instead of a piece of redstone dust. And this will just prevent uh, the clock from this side. It'll prevent the connection because you can imagine if that was a piece of redstone dust, it would connect and all of your modules would be connected. Now, a small oversight, I guess, of mine was that this torch here powers this block, which is for this circuit, but it also powers this circuit. So this module will activate the hopper locking of this module, but it only does it with the module immediately beside it. It won't carry down through the modules. So like I said, it would be better if these were separated, but it doesn't actually ruin everything. It just causes a little bit more redstone updates, but again, not much. And like with uh, the original design, it is highly recommended to put actual torches in everywhere just to light it up so that you don't get the redstone lighting updates. Um, but yeah, now we can continue on here with these layers here. Throw a couple torches in there. Again, we're going to put the blocks... That way it doesn't, I mean, without these blocks, it would just continue down through all the modules, but because we have the blocks, it prevents that. So you get one update instead of many is sort of the trade off here. But this side, super easy and Unfortunately, we could prevent it if we could put a solid block here, but because the redstone redirects like that, we can't, so we need this piece of redstone here. Again, another little unfortunate thing, but uh, something we'll deal with. And we're going to need to actually put a repeater there. But, yeah, that is... Uh, that is the system done. Just connect up the hoppers here and add your chests in. Make sure you bring this guy all the way back to here. Yeah, add your chests in and you are good to go. So, not there, but our one, two, three, four, five, six. Six chests like that. This is where our item input will be coming in from. So you can say, toss a stack of chests in there and it will go up and you'll see it start filling into here. Yeah, that is the new and improved Tango Tech item storage. So again, fill up all the slots same same as the original system this is just in my mind a little a little better a little more efficient and um and doesn't get stuck which is the main the main reason but yeah thanks you guys for watching i hope you guys found this interesting if you did i'd appreciate a like and if you have any questions as always leave a comment down in uh, the comments section. And if you want to see more interesting redstone ideas like this, uh, consider subscribing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching you guys. This is Power Service Rex, and I will see you guys next time.